Good afternoon, welcome to We Repair. Um, so, I had to have a bit of a location change for this one because this is rather a bigger piece of kit and I just didn't have the space to film it. So hopefully this comes off all right. Um, so today I'm working on a HP um, VH240A monitor. Um, it is sort of in a bit of a weird state really in that it doesn't like to, well, power on properly so is, is the long and short of it 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 has an issue where unless the uh, power leads at the right position there's no power to it so at the moment I've got the power brick plugged in over here but if I wiggle the cable I don't know if you can see that the light does and doesn't come on and I'll show you in a minute on the back there is a very loose connection so that's what I'm going to be repairing today so let's just try and show you this as best I can so just unclip this for ease. And now we've got the back off fit. So just here, if you see, it is incredibly loose. So we're going to see if we can get this repaired, um, which is going to be a bit of a challenge because I don't know if I can or not. So we're going to have a go. Um, so if we just flip this over, try and get this in shot. It's quite a big monitor. I think we can just pry it open. So I've got some pry tools and I've got some screwdrivers and whatnot behind me. So we're going to see if we can just unclip this bezel. I'm hoping it, the front will just stay attached. So working from up here, yeah, it does look like we'll be all right. I don't want to put any pressure on the LCD as we risk damaging it. So yeah, I think it should be all right just to pry this forward. Okay, yeah, this looks like this is, oh, this is all gonna come off as well, great. Okay, cool. So we'll just work our way around and see if we can get this out. Ooh. I was trying not to damage the damn thing. Probably better off with plastic tools in all fairness, but this is what I've got handy, so this is what I'm gonna work with. I'm hoping that once I get it going, them apart a bit more. Okay, there's just these stubborn little black plastic clips here every so often. So, what I'll do is I'll work my way around this and then we'll go. From there once I've got it all undone. I will just check the monitor after it is all undone just to make sure everything still works. Let's do this end now. There we go. Okay so cool that just lifts off that's great. I'm hoping this panel will just come out now. All right okay so we've got some bits and bobs back here. So that is the little speaker so we'll just disconnect those. Oh, and I've got the, if you can see this, I've got the controller stripped down here at the front. So before I go any further, I'm just going to make sure it still works. Gonna make sure I haven't damaged anything in doing that bit. Woo. Okay. Yeah, so there we go. That panel still works. That's good. Let's just pop that off to one side and carefully lay this flat. Cool, right. Um, I'm going to disconnect this if I can. There we go, perfect. So we get that out of the way too. Okay, so it's looking like it's just going to be half a dozen screws. So let's get this panel disconnected if we can. Okay, that doesn't want to come out. And there we go, that ends nice and easy. So you've got two little squeezy connectors there. And then that one will just disconnect as well. Perfect. Right, got two screws here. So let's grab the screwdriver. And then we should be able to get the controller board off. So the inverter board, whatever it is, power board, inverter board, whatever you want to call it. Excellent. Right, 
let's move our panel out the way as well. And then we can carry on working on this problem and see if we can get it fixed. So let's bring you down so you can see a bit better. Let's see what we can do with this. Right. It's like a four screws in the corner, so let's just pop those out. And hopefully we'll be able to get to the inner workings of it. It's a bit a screwdriver. Typical, I've got one screwdriver that's slightly too big and one screwdriver that's too small. Well, I'm too lazy to go and get the ones from my kit, so uh, we'll work with what we got handy. Carefully, in fact, I am going to have to disconnect this ribbon cable if I can. Let's just see if we can get that little monkey out of there. It does just lift up and it should pull forwards, but it's very tight. Let's uh, so give me get a little flathead in here, see if I can help lever this out. Hmm. Oh, I did move then. There we are. Got that one out. Right, so hopefully this should now lift out somehow. I don't want to force it. Okay, it's that. That's holding it in the um, VGA connectors. So let me just grab something, see if we can get those on done. Just grab an adjustable and I'll be back. Right, so I got an adjustable spanner now, so let's just see if we can get that undone. Just need to do it enough to start it. There we go. Doesn't appear to be the most complicated of installs at this point, but I'm going to undo the other screw. Oh yeah, that's much better. That's loose already. Have to stop it from falling out now. And there we go. There's our board. So, interestingly, oh, no, it's from in the right place. Let's try and see, I'm hoping the solder joints are loose. I think it actually might be a broken port. Yeah, it is. Only really this one, this solder joint here that's holding it on. So let's see if it wants to come off your one. Hopefully, I'm capturing this on camera. So close. Yeah, in fact, that other one, that other connector isn't even connected. Yes, once I've taken this off, I'll show you. There you go. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually a broken pin on there, which is why we were getting half connectivity. So I need to get a new DC jack. So that is going to be our next challenge, I think, getting a new one of those. Uh, see if I can acquire one from eBay. And in the meantime, I'll tidy this board up so that we can use it. Right, so our pool's here, I'll get a new one ordered and we will go from there. And I shall see you very shortly. Right, so we're about a week later. I've got my new little DC jack. I've got that fitted now and soldered into place. Um, here is my old one, just for reference. I don't know if you can see that there's a broken pin on there. That's definitely what the issue was. 
So I've got my new one here. Let's lay that flat. Got my soldering iron off to one side, nice and hot, ready to roll. So we will just get this soldered into place. It shouldn't take any time whatsoever. job in the world but it's on and it ain't moving <laughs> which is the, the main thing there and it's not touching anything else so that's all good right so let's get all this tidied up quickly and then I will come back to you once I'm ready to get everything reattached right so we are back let's start by getting everything reassembled um, so the very first thing we are going to do is get this board back in and fixed so let's have a look at which way around this goes. We've got holes there. Let's that, that way. I can't remember if this goes facing to me or away from me. I think it goes away from me. Yeah, perfect. So that's that fitted in there. Let's grab a little screwdriver. And let's put these screws back in. So it was a week ago, so if I don't know where everything goes, I apologise now. Let's do those top two, and then before I go anything, go any further, I'm just going to redo these two thumb screws as well. Those two. I've got a little adjustable here as well. Oh, so we can get grip on that one. There you go. Perfect. And then we'll just do our other two screws. start fitting everything back out at that point. Cool, and then off camera I have found my missing screw. Put that fixed back in. Cool, right, next. Got my ribbon from earlier. Let's just pop that one back in there, just pushing it towards us. Ooh. That is very tight but fully fixed in. Cool, right, so that is that done for the minute. Let's just pop that off to one side. So I've got our LCD panel now. Let's pop this back on here. Try and remind myself how everything goes at the same time. There we go. Screwdriver again. that back on, Put that back on, reconnect our LCD panel, done, then that one goes in there. Right, let's grab our rear plastics and then reconnect the last bits and bobs and then we'll pop it into power and see if it works. Right, we've got these rear plastics back in here now. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect our power button strip along the front. Um, so that will just push into place like that. And then I've got external speakers, but I'm not going to be able to do this until I get that at a better angle. So let's just do that. Being careful of the panel. And again, that just pushes in and connects like that. All right, we'll flip this over. scratch marks on the screen now, but that's the end of the world. Joys of not having a mat down. Right. 
So, moment of truth for this one. This is either going to work or explode. <laughs> either way, it's all good. So, we've got my power supply. Let's see what happens. <laughs> there we go, we've got some life. That is brilliant. And now I can wiggle this and not lose my connection, so that's even better. Cool. Superb. That is really, really good. So let's just button this up for complete completion of my video. The last thing I've got to do is get this strip back on, which is the HP strip along the bottom. And there we go. Just like that, we are done. That is all she wrote. Well, that's probably taken me about 30 minutes to desolder, strip down and put back together, um, all in all. It's not a particularly complicated repair, I don't think. Uh, it's just, I've never done one of these before now. Uh, so it was quite, I thought quite an interesting one to do. But I don't know if anyone else has attempted this repair. If they have, uh, please drop me a like, leave me a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel. Anything you do subscription wise is really helpful. Um, I am making a conscious effort at the moment to try and post more regularly. Um, but as with anything in this world, life is just getting in the way. Um, if you want to see me doing more soldering and things, then um, and hopefully improving my own skill set, then please let me know and uh, I will try and do that. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.